Hey, welcome back to Album April. It's April 19th, and today I listened to Golden Hour by Casey Musgraves. This is a country pop album from 2018 that won Album of the Year at the Grammys. I don't really listen to much country music in general, usually only if it crosses over on the pop charts, and Casey Musgraves hadn't really done that yet, but I had heard of her before, so I decided to give this album a listen. I think my first impression was that calling it a country pop album doesn't really feel like you're telling the whole story. It kind of feels like probably about like two thirds pop, one third country most of the time. And that's not to disparage it or saying that it's false advertising. I'm just saying it sounded a lot more like early Taylor Swift than I was expecting. I do think that Casey Musgraves is a very good singer. I really like the tone in her voice. She kind of reminds me of Maren Morris and the fact that, yes, they are country singers, they make country music, but just to me, when I listen to their voices, I don't immediately think, oh, that's a country singer. It doesn't have that same quality as, like, Carrie Underwood or Miranda Lambert or something like that. In fact, if I were to make any comparisons with Casey Musgraves singing, I would say that she sounds the most like Lauren Mayberry from Churches. And for those of you who don't know, Churches is a synth-pop group. So yes, Casey can put on the twang and sound like a country singer for a few songs, but she really also sounded quite at home in the poppier songs on this album. And that would include my favorite song on this album, Oh What a World. When I saw that title, literally the first thing that came to mind was the Wicked Witch of the West dying. But thankfully the song itself is wholesome and sweet as pie. There's some really nice touches to this song. The chorus ends with, oh, what a world, and then there's you, and then there's this little melodic lick that really, like, puts a cherry on top of it. Other highlights from the album, I thought, included Slow Burn, Space Cowboy, and Rainbow. Also, literally, like, one minute ago, I just saw in the Wikipedia article that apparently Casey Musgraves was on LSD when writing a couple of the songs and said that it had a beneficial effect for her. Though, thankfully, she doesn't say, go out and do that. She just said it helped her, which I wouldn't do that, but, I mean, she can do what she wants. Like, you listen to these songs, and they all sound so wholesome and innocent, and I I would not have expected that the writer um, took LSD to help her creative process, but I guess that's irrelevant. With the question of, were there any songs in this album I didn't like... No, there were, there was this one sound in the song Velvet Elvis that I didn't like, but that didn't affect the whole song. All the songs on this album, while I wouldn't actively seek out most of them, I will say that they were good. So when we get to the question of, do I think this album holds up? I think the obvious answer is yes, it does. I think it's a good album. In fact, in terms of consistency, this is one of the best albums I've listened to this whole month. It kind of sounds like if you took the style and vibe of early Taylor Swift and combined it with the comparatively a lot more mature songwriting of the newer Taylor Swift. And I'm not trying to say that Casey Musgraves is like a off-brand Taylor Swift. I just literally don't have much to reference when it comes to country pop music. That stems from problems concerning me, not Casey Musgraves. Casey Musgraves and her team, I think, did a very good job with this album. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow.